I'm going to ask you a super youth fueled question. Yeah. Have you seen this movie called Doctor Strange? Okay. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Uh, it's a Marvel movie about this arrogant doctor uh-huh. whose um, hands get injured in an accident so he can't be a surgeon anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he searches all over the world for a, a cure and suddenly something calls him to Nepal. He something takes him to Nepal. Okay. He hears of, you know, these healers in Nepal. Yeah. He enters like this so-called monastery okay. and he realizes that wait, these guys are on some other a uh, level of spirituality Correct. so he was a man of science Correct. and then the world of spirituality just destroyed his whole scientific belief system resonates totally with my story wow <laughs> so you are you're a real life doctor strange doctor strange indeed <laughs> but so specifically in terms of like a uh, spiritual knowledge boiled down for the youth uh-huh. what did you gain from those monks in say your first month in the monastery what did you realize that oh okay mm. this is how perspectives can be mm. wait let me destroy my own perspectives yeah yeah uh, i have been a pampered boy you know middle class family but only son i had a younger sister but the only son mm. from a marwadi jain family so you know mm. like really pampered everything i wanted was given everything i asked for was right there a kind of spoiled brat in that sense mm-hmm. you know i never ranveer i never ever in my life ate a meal at home if it wasn't made according to what i'd asked for mm. so i only ate at home if what i asked for was cooked mm. right and i come here to the ashram to the monastery and i can't choose my meals mm. what was cooked in the community kitchen and is served to everybody i'm i'm going to have to eat that right mm. and trust me uh, back in the day our ashram our monastery didn't have enough money mm. you know so five days a week they got the same vegetable the cheapest one and that was the curry with mm. some rice and dal and initially my mind was like rebelling I've come from a family where you know, I look pampered. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I come here and everything's like I have to just conform, I have to just eat whatever is available. Mm. And then I realized, what did I come here for? Did I join the monastery or the ashram for luxurious, fine, palatable food? or did i come here for a purpose which is much larger than these little things around my life mm. and then the more i started tuning into my sense of purpose something way higher than these little things around i realized that those things weren't bothering me that much mm. you know mm. not to say that they didn't bother me at all that would be haughty to say that it mm. didn't bother me at all mm. but they didn't bother me as much because now my attention was on something that i came in here for mm. so i always tell people especially the youth don't allow your minds to be distracted from what your purpose is what your goal is all what you go through as in the ups and downs you experience is only an outcome of taking your eyes off your goal mm. you know mm. so the lack of facility shouldn't depress us and the presence of luxury and facility shouldn't distract us Understood. so then there was lack of facility today there is abundance of facility in our monastery in anash mm. we live in south mumbai downtown mm. right we are surrounded by luxury all over the place mm. you know so then back in the day there was nothing mm. and today there's so much mm. but because the attention is on the purpose at that time i learned from my training and from my experience there that uh, i could actually take a lot in my stride mm. because i kept shifting my attention to what i was meant to do which you was know? what which was a to deepen my own spiritual calling mm. and b was to see how to strategize to share that spiritual experience with the world got it you know so kept bringing my attention constantly to that so if you want to decode my learning from this the, uh, the monastic order my spiritual path particularly for the youth say keep keep your attention and focus constantly on what you're meant to do in life which basically means there's a need to discover what you want to do mm. in life mm. if you haven't discovered 
the smallest trivia can disturb you mm. and if you have discovered and you're focused on that the largest setbacks can be handled and you can take it in your stride and move on does that make sense yeah 100% yeah, i feel okay. that even throughout the darkest phases of my own career yeah. which has usually happened because of something happening in my personal life okay. that the spine of the career always pulls you back that yes. wait there's too much work to be done can't afford to aligned to that yeah, sense perhaps, 100% right. so uh and i think life is going to always be up and down absolutely so you've absolutely. just got to keep going 